Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This week we're heading to Newgale in Pembrokeshire, West Wales, where we stayed the night at a great pub stop called the Duke of Edinburgh. Its location is first class, right opposite the fabulous Newgale Beach. The car park is huge and is pretty level too. The pub is quite big and has a great food menu, along with a great gin menu which I indulged in. And it was also Stein night, so Tim got to indulge too. Now the plan was to go to the beach the following morning, but I didn't do my homework and it was high tide, so we decided to head on up to St David's. We found a great park up at the local rugby club where we spent a good few hours in the busy clubhouse, watching the Six Nations and even bagging a free bowl of cowl at half time. After that we crashed in the camper, had a peaceful night's sleep. Following morning we were up bright and early to visit the cathedral and the bishop's palace. Right, let's head down to St David's. David's Cathedral. Beautiful. St David's is the smallest city in Britain and has been a place of pilgrimage for many centuries. The 12th century St David's Cathedral, built on the site of a much older religious building, is the reason for Little St David's outside city status. Constructed from dusky purple sandstone, it's one of the Wales' most iconic religious sites. St David's is the patron saint of Wales. Legend claims he was born around 500 AD on the rugged Pembrokeshire coast of southwest Wales. Since the 6th century, there has been a church on this site. For the past 1500 years, prayer and worship have been offered to God on a daily basis, which continues to this day. In 1171, St David was visited by King Henry II, who noticed the need to enlarge the cathedral. The construction of the new church began in 1181 under the patronage of Peter de Leer, the Norman Bishop of St David's. St David's Cathedral is made up of a number of beautiful chapels, all of which are significant in different ways. They are the Becket Chapel, Holy Trinity Chapel, Edward the Confessor Chapel and the Lady Chapel. Today, the Bishop's Palace is a striking ruin just outside of the cathedral grounds, managed by CADU, the Welsh Government's Heritage Service.
After leaving St David's, we head back home, driving through Solver and stopping off at New Girl Beach to run the dogs. Yeah, but this is upper solver and then you drop into lower solver. Oh. But, but it's all solver. Yeah, okay. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. I sit by the harbour in and watch the tide. It's quite a few watering holes here, you know? Yeah, there is. The harbour, the ship, the Cambria, and the George at the top of the hill. One day I'll have to try and find out which is best. Campsite here in the summer, right in the, right in the beach. Yes, campsite. Or you've got the pub stop where we stay. Yeah. So this is the Duke of Edinburgh where we stayed behind on Friday night. Had a few beers. Quite a tidy little pub to be honest. Yeah. And that is the campsite which has got one lonely caravan in. Close enough. This is the girls getting ready for the beach. Come on, girls. Yeah. And here is the beach. Now, with a bit of luck, over these stones is a bit of sand. Do we have one? Not a bad bit of beach. The, the dogs are gonna love it. This is Joe, ladylike, coming towards the beach. Oh. Lottie, you go away. Girls. Okay. One mad dog having a moment, followed by number two mad dog having a moment. Like you say, your turn now, Joe. Mm. That's about it. Come on. Oh, I found a wet patch. Look. 
Look at this. Oh, cheers, Bella. She just shook all the sun in her face.